So our next question is, what is the impact velocity of the CD when it hits the final spot on the ground? So we have that V1Y equals negative 5.000 meters per second. Acceleration due to gravity equals 9.81 meters per second squared. Delta D equals 50.0 meters. And V2X equals 8.6605 meters per second. Now we know V2X because earlier we found V2 or V1x, and because that stays constant, the value will stay the same. So the first thing we want to do is find V2y. So for that, we're going to use the equation V2y equals the square root of V1y squared plus 2a delta d. So originally this equation was uh, v2 squared equals v1 squared plus 2a delta d. It's just been rearranged slightly. So once we plug in the values, we get that v2y will equal 31.7175 meters per second. So now that we have V2y and V2x, we're going to create a triangle because uh, we need to solve for both the final velocity and the angle of the final velocity. All right, so to find V2, we're going to use the Pythagorean theory. and v2 equals the square root of v2x squared plus v2y squared. And then we'll sub in our values. And in the end, with significant digits, we get that the final impact velocity is 32.9 meters per second squared. Now along with this, we want to find the angle that it impacts at. So we're going to use SOHCAHTOA, and we have that the angle will equal So we have that the angle will equal tan inverse multiplied by V2y over V2x. So in the end, we get that the angle will equal approximately 74.7 degrees. So our final answer will be that the impact velocity is 32.9 meters per second. At an angle of 74.7 degrees below the horizontal because right here will be the horizontal and this is the angle.